Hey guys, my name is Elena and I'm the host of Favor Your Flavor. Today I'm going to show you another dish you could do with leftover pot roast. So we are going to start with, you know what, Got the oil. Gonna grab some extra virgin olive oil. Just drizzle some, about two tablespoons. And I already preheated my pan on medium heat. What we're gonna do is put our mushrooms in first. Here the sizzle. And when you're sauteing mushrooms, you gotta make sure your pan is always hot because you don't want them soggy, especially if you're making a sandwich. You want them to brown nicely. Just mix it up. Don't let it burn. I love mushrooms. It smells so good. While the mushrooms are sauteing, we are gonna take, I have two cloves of garlic. What I'm gonna do is take my knife and put it right over it and just smash it. I'm going to do that to the other one. Just give it a rough chop. Just another rough chop right here. we're gonna do is add it to our mushrooms. Then, so our mushrooms are getting brown nicely. Now we're gonna add some onions. I'm using some red onions, which are sliced thin. So we're gonna add it. You wanna do this pretty fast because you don't want your garlic to burn because it turns pretty bitter. Not a good taste. Gonna mix it all well together. Uh, as soon as the garlic and onion hit the hot pan, the aroma that comes out of them is just delicious. You just wanna eat it. I already have the meat pre-shredded and we are gonna add it to our pan. The onions look like they're sauteed okay now we're just gonna keep on adding our meat they should make TVs and computers where you could smell everything people cook right Wouldn't that be great so we're gonna mix it add a little bit of salt and pepper All you're gonna do is wait for it just to heat up. You don't wanna burn it and you don't wanna cook it for too long. So this morning I went to the bakery and picked up some hoagie rolls and just round rolls. It depends whatever you like. You could use ciabatta rolls, I mean anything. So these are fresh and they're very, very soft. What I do, well what I like to do, is out of just uh, cut them in half, and you are going to take out the middle of the bread. So when you're gonna assemble your sandwich, there's gonna be enough space for everything. Just gonna put this, I'm gonna eat that. And over here, I think we could just do it on top. They're pretty deep. So, these are tops, so we're gonna put it right here so you guys can see. And over here I have pre-shredded lettuce and tomatoes. Since we already have our onions in there, I'm not gonna use any more onions. I have Dijon mustard. You could choose whatever you want. And I also like sriracha on my sandwiches. If you don't like it spicy, just leave it out. So, for the first sandwich. We're gonna put the meat. Ooh. I want to get on. 
by it, you put it right on the bun. Same thing for the other one. Since it's already moist, you don't have to put anything on the bottom. You're just gonna do it on the other side. Gonna put it here. Now, I'm gonna open this. Here's how we're going to assemble it. So, I don't know how you like it, little or a lot. I just like just a little slather, not even slather. Just a little bit of Dijon. What I'm gonna do next is, you know what? Let's put tomatoes on first. Oh, got stuck. And for the sriracha, forgot we need to do the lettuce. In order for it to look nice, you have to have all these colors. So check this out. We're gonna just drizzle it. Now how pretty does that look? Oh, and it smells amazing. And you just put it on top. Since we took the middle out, you're gonna have enough space to hold everything in there. Now for the second one, same thing. It's the same thing, it's just a different bun. I'll put some Dijon. Now you could also use mayo. I'm not a big fan of it, so. And let's try to do this. Place it around. Then some lettuce. And that's it. Once again, you're watching Favor Your Flavor. I hope you subscribe to our channel and visit us on our blog at favoryourflavor.com. Bye, see you soon.